So one starting point is with the forces involved. So one is the driving force that pushes the boat or moves the boat forward. And then the other is the drag force, which acts against the boat. Now the driving force depends on several factors and has a proportional relationship. The driving force is proportional to the coefficient of lift, as I'm showing you here, that's CL, times the area of the sail, times the density of the air at current temperature and pressure, times the, the wind speed squared, the square of the wind speed, times the sign of the angle of the wind in re reference to the boat. And then the drag force, F drag, is proportional to the square of the boat speed, right? So uh, the force of drag, as I'm showing here, the, is proportional to the coefficient of drag times the effective area of the foils times the density of the water times the boat speed squared. And then the net force is then the difference between the driving force and the drag force, which results in acceleration or deceleration. 